Adobe Illustrator has been the industry standard for years, but Affinity Designer has emerged as a serious contender. In 2024, which one should you choose? Let's dive into a full comparison to help you make the right choice for your design work. First up, let's talk about pricing. Adobe Illustrator runs on a subscription model, which can be a bit pricey. It's 32.99 Australian dollars, inclusive of GST in Australia per month for just Illustrator, or around 88 Australian dollars per month for the full Creative Cloud Suite. That adds up quickly. On the other hand, Affinity Designer offers a one-time payment of 95 Australian dollars with no ongoing fees or the version 2 Universal Suite for 224 Australian dollars and 99 cents inclusive of GST also with no ongoing fees, no subscriptions, no recurring payments, it's yours forever. So if affordability is a major factor for you, Affinity Designer takes the crown here. Now let's look at the user interface. Adobe Illustrator has a more complex interface with many features aimed at professional designers. It can be overwhelming for beginners. Affinity Designer, on the other hand, has a cleaner and more modern UI that's a bit more user-friendly, especially for newcomers. It's easy to navigate, but still packs plenty of advanced features. So if you're just starting out, Affinity Designer might feel more intuitive. But if you're a pro, Illustrator's customization options and depth might win you over. In terms of performance, Affinity Designer is optimized for speed. It's lightweight and doesn't require a heavy-duty machine to run smoothly. That makes it great for working on the go or on less powerful devices. Adobe Illustrator is more resource-intensive, especially when working with large files or detailed vector graphics. However, it's still the go-to for professional-grade work if you have a machine that can handle it. Now let's get into the features and tools. Adobe Illustrator is packed with industry standard features like the pen tool, shape builder, pathfinder and robust typography tools. It also integrates seamlessly with other Adobe software like Photoshop and After Effects, which is a huge plus for professionals. Affinity Designer has many of these tools too, and while it doesn't quite match Illustrator's depth, it makes up for it with its unique features like real-time effects and its persona workflow allowing you to switch between vector and raster modes instantly. For most tasks, Affinity Designer will do everything you need, but Adobe Illustrator still leads the pack for complex design work and industry collaborations. When it comes to compatibility, Adobe Illustrator reigns supreme. It's the industry standard and most printers, agencies and clients work with AI files. Plus, Illustrator integrates smoothly into the Adobe ecosystem with Photoshop, After Effects and InDesign. Affinity Designer offers good file compatibility too, but it's not as widely adopted in professional settings yet. However, you can export to popular formats like SVG, PDF and EPS, which should cover most needs for freelancers or solo creators. So which one is right for you in 2024? If you're a seasoned professional working with teams or in industries that require tight Adobe integration, Illustrator is likely still your best option. Its expansive features, industry standard compatibility and seamless workflows make it essential for high-level projects. But if you're a freelancer, hobbyist or someone looking to avoid those subscription fees while still having powerful design tools, Affinity Designer is a fantastic alternative. Its one-time payment model, intuitive UI, and great performance make it perfect for individual creators and small businesses. So the choice is yours. It all depends on what matters most to you, features, cost, or performance. Which one will you choose? Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more design tips and tutorials, and drop a comment below. Are you Team Affinity or Adobe? Let me know.